Hey, what's up everyone? My name is AJ Writes Crypto and I absolutely had to make this video today because HBAR and the entire Hedera ecosystem are on the move in a big way. Regardless of the controversy surrounding the BlackRock situation, what's important is that Hedera has so much momentum on its side right now. And now that we're post having, I'm looking to see that momentum continue into the bull run. Not only does Hedera have that momentum, but the projects being built on Hedera have that momentum too. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about here today. Without getting too far into the weeds, there are a plethora of amazing NFT projects on Hedera. But just like any other ecosystem, the cream always, you know, rises to the top. In my eyes, the big three in Hedera NFTs are the Dead Pixel Ghost Club, Hangry Baboons, and Earthlings. What separates Earthlings from the first two is that Earthlings is a metaverse gaming project that has been in the works behind the scene for years. And as you can see on the footage right here on your screen, this game, you know, looks really impressive. From the scenic towns, the villages, the underground railroads, the science labs, waterfalls, we got floating islands connected by sky bridges. I mean, come on. This game has an amazing aesthetic and the overall look is quite impressive. This open world metaverse game is made up of 2,800 square kilometers. That's over a thousand square miles. I have personally spoke with the developers of the game and a lot of them have well over 20 years of experience. So of course the finished product, once it comes out, is going to be top notch. The thing is, Earthlings has a unique view on metaverses and gaming. They understand how gamers, already with success, invented the metaverse. For anyone who doesn't know, a metaverse is an online open world where people interact and that is what gamers are already doing online today and with growing success. The team at Earthlings understands that the gaming has to come first, especially when you're tasked with filling a metaverse with thousands and thousands of players. Unless you're an industry giant like Apple or Facebook, it's naive to think that you can fill a metaverse with the relatively small Web3 community that we have. This is why making the game a priority instead of all the crypto bells and whistles, that has to be the focus. Consider this, according to the Academy of Animated Art, more than 40% of the global population are gamers. Gaming is bigger than the music and movie industry combined, and it keeps growing every year. So instead of focusing on the small siloed Web3 community, Earthlings is focusing on the traditional Web 2 gaming market, and I think that's the best way to go about it. Even the stores at the malls know to attract the customers at the window to get them through the door. Earthlings is not just the next shooter game, but it's a mix of exploration, adventure, and battle royale. Earthlings has a focus on being family friendly, but it will still be exciting to play, and that will open up to a much larger audience. Moreover, they found a way to incentivize landovers for the first time to really take action and onboard gamers themselves instead of sitting on their land just waiting for something to happen. If you own a plot of land, you get a gamer's plot assigned to it that you can assign to someone you know. And every time you have someone gaming on that plot, you make a percentage of their earnings. You can even rent out your NFTs to gamers if you want to. You might be thinking, AJ, when does crypto enter the chat here? Good question. So Earthlings has a dual token system of water and steam. Water is the web two fixed price token and steam being the on-chain token. To be honest, they really thought it through on how to approach gamers. They're giving them what they're already used to in other web two games. The best part is it's simple for everyone because there's no need for wallet creation. Gamers can go and play, and while they're gaming, they can discover Web3 gradually. They can decide to play with or without a wallet, making it that much easier to onboard them once they want one. To me, it appears that Earthlings has found a way of bringing investors and gamers together in a unique way, incentivizing landowners and really doing something with their land and giving gamers a Web3 approach game. Some people will say that gamers dislike Web3 games because of the play to earn mechanics. I personally think it has more to do with the fact that gamers just don't like bad gameplay and just running around to acquire an NFT doesn't fit the definition of gameplay in my book. My point here is that there is a misconception about gamers because sometimes play to earn feels a lot like pay to earn. If you compare Earthlings to say Axie Infinity, for instance, you need to buy a couple Axies first just to play the game. And afterwards, you're kind of going to hope that you get your investment back. 
Not saying some people weren't profitable, but the barrier of entry is too high, and it makes sense that gamers don't like it as the gameplay does not even come close to the gameplay that they are used to in Web 2. And there's no guarantee that they'd make their money back. I'm not saying some people weren't profitable with Axie Infinity, but the barrier of entry is too high, and it makes sense that gamers don't like the gameplay as it doesn't even come close to what they are used to in Web 2 gaming, and there's no guarantee that they're going to get their money back. This does not mean that gamers don't like to spend money on gaming. The average gamer spends $76 a month on gaming, and the only thing they want in return is a good time, hours of fun. And to be honest, that is something that Web3 has just not delivered yet. Gamers will pay for skins, weapons, upgrades, and even pay for the game itself. So they do pay for games, even though they don't earn. Consequently, pay to earn is not the problem. The problem lies in the quality of Web3 games and their heavy focus on the Web3 community and not on real gamers. The point is that the priority has to be gaming first, and Earthlings has done exactly that. Also, the game needs to look good, and this one checks the box on that too. You want to go tell your cousin to come play a game with you, but if the first thing they see is Decentraland-like graphics, they will run out just as fast as they came in. On top of fun gameplay and an amazing open world, Earthlings brought ownership up to the next level. In Earthlings, you don't have to own an NFT to play the game, but it does enhance the experience if you do. With most Web3 metaverses, you can own a small plot, but in Earthlings, you can own a whole town, or a whole village, or even add a train station or some buildings to complete your town. Imagine owning a bank where you can get more staking rewards when you have more townsmen. You can even get a sidekick animal NFT to help you achieve side quests, and you can upgrade them to become stronger and smarter. If you want to get around the map faster or get to areas that are unreachable, get yourself an airship NFT that comes equipped with the cage to transport loot or even animals. They really have thought of it all and I cannot wait to play this game. And what I like about Earthlings the most is that they decided to build it on Hedera. They knew that this was a challenge with a smaller community, but the technology is what they went for and their reasoning is it's not hype that should sell the game, but the quality of the game. If you build a long-term business, you want the best, right? And that's why Earthlings opted to build on a secure chain that's lightning fast with minimal fees. Try to explain to a gamer why he has to pay $50 in gas fees for one transaction. That just does not work. On Hedera, it's more like $0.0001. You do the math. Earthlings is set out to be a game changer by aiming directly at Web2 gamers. Their goal is to try to open a first open world beta gameplay in 2025, but they are not naive about this and they see the challenges that lie ahead. Nevertheless, they have shown that they can build something that looks better than any metaverse game out there, and if they are able to deliver the same quality gameplay, this game will be a catalyst to a seismic shift in Web3 gaming. Last, but certainly not least, it might be worth looking into their upcoming IDO, which is only days away. If you want to be early on the next best thing in Web3 Gaming, then this is your chance. Linked down below in the description is their Discord. Go check it out to find out about the how, what, and when of their upcoming IDO. Also, be sure to check out their website. It's also linked down below if you want to stay up to date on the news, read the white paper, or learn more about the lore of the game. Big shout out to my friends at Earthlings for powering this video. My name's AJ Writes Crypto. Smash the like button down below. Let me know in the comments what excites you the most about playing Earthlings in 2025. I know I'm pretty excited. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Get rich, don't get wrecked.